and Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Our, our guest today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, Tommy and Lori, they are Lost Hollow. Welcome, guys. Thank you. How are Hi. you? Thanks for having us. All right, so um, you're a drummer. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, how long have you been? Now, you've backed up quite a few folks. Like, who, who are some of the folks that you've worked with, recorded with, toured with? Uh, I've toured with Gatlin Brothers, Ricky Skaggs, uh, Laurie White. Uh, I'm currently in the Rebus Band, mm -hmm. and um, and then I've played on. I've been doing uh, studio work probably since the uh, around '97. So I've played on uh, played on the Song of the Year last year. Uh, I drive a truck and uh, played on uh, Big and Rich's only number one hit and mm -hmm. um, a whole bunch of other stuff. And um, now you're also a songwriter. Mm -hmm. All right, and you guys actually together have like at least one, maybe two songs on Rebus? Like yeah, duets? two songs on, on her duets record. Wow, yeah. which two? For the folks who have the... We got uh, Sleeping With The Telephone, which was the Faith Hill duet. Uh -huh. And then we had um, the Carol King duet, which is every songwriter's dream to have Carol King, who's like the queen of songwriting, record one of your songs, which was Everyday People. No. Down. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we, got, we got looked at by our songwriter buddies like we were aliens. Because <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't record other people's songs. Yeah, I would say that. She's Carol King. She didn't have to. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It was amazing. All right. So, well, okay. Well, what's the story of Lost Hollow then? How did you guys come together and decide, hey, we're going to do this as a duet? We're going to do our own thing? It was primarily through writing for other people. Um, we, we, we started writing. We really got the bug. I mean, I've, we've both been writing for a long time, but we're really about five, six years ago, we really got into it hot and heavy. And, mm -hmm and just started writing a lot of songs. Um, we found uh, a team, uh, Lori and I and Don Rollins, who wrote It's Five O'Clock Somewhere, Yeah. Um, who is a lyrical genius. Uh, we just really clicked, so we wrote a lot, a lot of songs. And uh, in the process, uh, Lori wanted to get a solo record done. Mm -hmm. So... I did. Do you want to take it from here? I always tell it wrong. Yes, I always have to correct them. Well, that's we're married. We have, I, well, yeah, I get that. I, I want to tell it wrong. So. Yeah, so I mean, we always go. You're always the go-to when it comes to the, the exactly. details. Exactly. Well, I wanted to do a solo record because um, I was home raising the kids, and my daughter was like, like six, right? Have I, I got that number? Have right? six, yeah. That is amazing. Give it up. Thank you. I, Thank I got you. three. He can play on lots of records. But I I'm too tired kids. to. Hide I got that. three. You were both. I. Mm, I don't know. By three, of just uh, anyway. Please continue. So I wanted to do a, a, a project for myself just to say to my children, you can do whatever you want. You can, mm -hmm. I, to my daughters especially, you can be home raising kids, but you can still do what you want. And so through that, um, there was a song that he had written with Ben Caver, and he was playing it in the studio, and I walked in and went, I love that song. I want that on my CD, and I want us to do it as a duet. So as we were working on it, I was like, why aren't we doing this together? That's why we yeah. originally went to Nashville. So that's kind of how we put our own. We did simultaneously. We did you know two projects. When we moved to Nashville, it was like cowboy hats and Garth, and we, we we're not that. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, as the internet grew and and you know crazier things started happening in the music business, we you know we we're finally like, what what are we waiting for? You know. So, right, well, so so you came to Nashville looking for more of like a Waylon Willie set. And, you know, and well, we we're kind of more more on the I guess folkier side of. Oh, interesting. Know. Okay. Yeah. So and uh, and, and it wasn't that. Mm -hmm. And so so I basically just started playing drums to to feed us, you know, and then we we kept having these happy accidents, you know, called kids. <laughs> <laughs> they are such <laughs> accidents. <laughs> Most of them are happy. <laughs> <laughs> So let's, okay, well, let's talk about the music. Let's talk about is the, the album's not finished, but you've got the single. Mo, uh, probably about seventy-five percent of it's done. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got about four or five more songs that, mm -hmm. that we've written, but we've just got to we've got to get in the studio and 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 play. And uh, it's it's blown us away how it's taken off. I mean, mm -hmm. when we first started doing these songs on her record and started passing them out to people, we started getting comments like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. I can't stop listening to this. Oh, it's great stuff. And and, and we're talking from like 21-year-old hipsters, you know, yeah. not not from, you know, not from people that are that have six kids. So we, we were like, well, this this must be, you know, God must be trying to say something to us. We really need to do this. So, and uh, at this point, uh, the video just got re, uh, retweeted by Reba. Um, we ended up getting... We're, we're almost at 6,000 views in less than a week. Mm -hmm. The video, I think, came out... Now it's been about a week, I think. Almost, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, 
uh, we have uh, a bunch of fans over in Europe as well, and uh, the UK thing is exploding. It's 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 crazy. Yeah. We're actually going over there in May, and and it looks like we're going to be all over the BBC. They're playing our video all over our England, Ireland, and mainland Europe, and it's it's unbelievable what's happening. Okay. Well, okay. Well, tell us about the single. What's the single? The single is called Water and Oil, and uh, it's just about about a couple that's really trying to make it work and it's just like whatever they're doing that you know they're one's water and one's oil and it's just it, it just ain't working you know no matter how each one of them want it to work and they're trying they're just missing each other that's good stuff all right well tell you what i'm gonna get you guys to play that here we're gonna do a live performance with them look for their live performance elsewhere on the site but uh once you become huge fans of lost hollow we want to make sure that folks know where to find you so where do they find you on the interweb uh, LostHollowMusic.com okay. is our website. LostHollowMusic.com. We're also on Facebook, uh, Lost Hollow Band on Facebook. Instagram is Lost Hollow, and Twitter is Lost Hollow Band. Sorry, the, the, the just yeah, there. just go to the can they, can they get all the social they can media get all that from the from the website LostHollowMusic.com. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and of course, um, Water Knoll is available on for download. Or? Yes, it's on iTunes right now, and if you go to LostHollowMusic.com. Uh, our uh, website, uh, if you sign up for our mailing list, you can get three free downloads. Absolutely. So do that. I totally recommend uh, the style of music they're talking about. I actually just spent uh, a, at least a month of my life completely immersed in uh, folk and Americana. Listen to everybody. Really? From Woody Guthrie to Sarah Guthrie, yeah. Gillian Welch and Dave Rollins, Marcus Mumford, and just exactly. Uh, I get listen, right. listen, listen. Yeah, so uh, I, I, I'm telling you right now, you get the Fletch Seal of Approval with Lost <laughs> Hollow right here, right now. Um, mm -hmm. Look for a live performance from Laurie and Tommy elsewhere on the website. Thank you guys for being here. Hey, uh, I got. Uh, I forgot to uh, Go for talk about one thing. You know, I was in the Muscle Shoals movie. You the the Muscle Shoals movie about from the poster about this place? Yes. Well, how were you in it? <laughs> well, I got. I a, wasn't even in it. I, was <laughs> I got a call uh, to go work for. I've gotten a couple calls to work for Rick Hall at Fame. Oh, Rick, yes. And um, but most of the time it was usually a panic call like Sunny Night, and I I couldn't do it. But this time I got I got called to do two days down there, and I was like, yes, I can do it. So when I got down there, there's all these cameras and stuff. And uh, we were working for an artist by the name of Candy Staten. Oh, she is unbelievable. Yes. We do know Candy Staten. Yes. She is amazing. It's yeah. like, you know, one of those things where you're turning the vocal fader up instead of down. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She is, yeah. We won't talk about the other. <laughs> I broke the fader off. You won't go down any further. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely going to have to look for you then. Yeah. yeah, he's in it, and he didn't even know it. That's what's so hilarious. He starts getting Facebook messages and texts from his music buddies going, dude, I just saw you in this movie. And he's like, what? What movie? Yeah, yeah. And then I finally, uh, about probably about seven or eight months ago, I, I found it on Netflix, and so I'm laying in bed with my laptop open watching it, and it's you know it's just unbelievable movies. Like, I've, I've learned so much about, about how Muscle Shoals just, you know, Shit crafted the the the, the whole we music abs industry. absolutely and uh, hit capital of the world at one time. Oh, and yeah. there's a sad story about Rick's, Rick's mom. Oh. And I and I looked at something on Facebook, and all of a sudden I hear this, and I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Ah, there. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and for uh, for, about, for about a second, mm -hmm. I was digging myself because whenever, at least <clears throat> I'm a perfectionist. Whenever I listen to myself. And I know it's me. I do not listen kindly. I'm like, ah, oh, that sucks. I don't yeah. like that. And and I didn't know it was me. So for about a second, I loved it. And I looked up and went, ah. So it was it was fantastic. Never look. That's the lesson. Yeah. There it is. Never look. <laughs> yeah. But that I got to tell you, it was a privilege working for Rick Hall. It, it's he it, is it, he's amazing, isn't he? It was an experience, and uh, and working with Candy and. And I just and, and I I come down here quite a bit uh, and work at uh, Gary Baker Studio. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're probably going to have lunch with him this afternoon. Hopefully, if, if all works out with his schedule. So um, we just we just love it down here. It's it's fantastic area. Well, then you got to come back. Oh, we Thank will. You. All right, come back. Yes. Tommy and Laura, they are Lost Hollow. Water and Oil is the single. Find it on iTunes. Uh, LostHollowMusic.com. Make sure you visit them there. And we'll see you next time. Another artist video blog right here on Kicks ninety six Country.